Hi, I'm new to see uh, Dr. Hussein. What's your surname? And did you have an appointment this afternoon? North, and uh, no, I haven't made an appointment, but I, I really need to see the doctor. I feel awful. I'm sorry, Mr. North. We're fully booked out today. I've got an appointment tomorrow morning. I can do 9am if that suits. The doctor knows me. Can I quickly just see her now? I'm sorry, the doctor's currently seeing a patient and I can't place you before other patients who've made appointments. I can do tomorrow afternoon if that is better. No, I couldn't get the time off work and I'd much rather see her now. Like I said, we can't squeeze you in this afternoon. Can I ask, is it for a pre-existing issue or medication? Perhaps the pharmacy can assist. No, I've got this splitting headache. I feel like I've been hit in the back of the head with a, a cricket bat. And I bumped my head yesterday morning and today I woke up and I just got this splitting headache. I can't concentrate and my wife told me I should come down here and see the doctor just in case I need a certificate for tomorrow. Maybe try the pharmacy. If you've got a migraine or something, they could give you something to ease the headache. Well, that's always been my experience. Where's the closest pharmacy? It's just on Sturt Road. It's a quick drive. Oh, I'll try and get there now. Would you like me to make you an appointment for tomorrow? No, it's, I'll try the pharmacy. If, I, if I'm no good, I'll call. OK, I'll wait for your call. I hope you feel better tomorrow. See ya. It's really difficult when patients walk in and just demand to see the doctor. Nobody thinks about other patients whose health problems are just as urgent or even more pressing. It's not possible to just move everyone else's appointment. That's why they are called patients. That's what you need in a doctor's surgery. The receptionist didn't seem to care why I was there. She didn't even ask me the right questions. She just kept wanting to send me to the pharmacist, but my headache was so bad I couldn't even think straight. I couldn't argue though. You know, she's the one that makes the appointments, or uh, doesn't make them. Mr North didn't seem to care for another appointment, even though I offered. I can't force a patient into making an appointment. They always carry on like they're the only ones that need treating anyway. I wasn't going to chase him down if he wanted to be stubborn about it. Hi, I need to see Dr. Hussein. What's your surname? And do you have an appointment this afternoon? North, and uh, no, I haven't made an appointment, but I, I really need to see the doctor. I feel awful. I'm sorry, Mr. North. The doctor's booked out for the rest of the day. I've got some appointment times tomorrow morning. I can do a 9 a.m. if that suits. Well, the doctor knows me. Can I just quickly see her now? I'm afraid we're fully booked this afternoon. Can I ask why you're here to see the doctor today? I've got this splitting headache. I feel like I've been hit in the back of the head with a cricket bat. I bumped my head yesterday morning and today I woke up and suddenly got this headache. I can't concentrate. My wife told me I should come down and see the doctor just in case I need a certificate for tomorrow morning. OK, Mr North. Well, take a seat and I'll see what I can do. Excuse me, I've just got to take this. Yes? Hi, Doctor. I've got Mr North here. He's just come in with, uh, he's hit his head and he's got a splitting headache. OK, Lily, how many patients do we have waiting? Uh, we have five, three follow-ups and two children, I suspect, with the flu. OK, well, I'm almost finished with my current patient and I'd like to see Mr North next. Um, could you just let the other patients know that I may be running a couple of minutes late? No problem. Should I send uh, Mr North through now? OK, thanks. Bye. Mr North, Dr Hussain will see you right now. Great. Thanks, Ryan. I'll see you again next week. Hi, Mr North. Lily tells me that you've hit your head. Yeah, I was just... Uh... Lily, call an ambulance. I'm so full. Come in. Lie down.
a head injury is pretty serious. I'm not a doctor, but you've got to know a few things so you can deal with this kind of situation. Regardless of the appointment, this was a priority. The trigger for me was when he said that his headache came on suddenly today after he fell yesterday. I feel sick even thinking about it. He was so lucky he came in when he did. Lily's great. I mean, she really understands that patients might be in a bad headspace when they come in. In my case, that was especially true. She knows how to prioritise patients and really goes the extra mile. She really has a great rapport with people. It shows that this is a good practice. This is exactly how things should happen. We train our staff, but it's hard to know what they'll do in these situations. A receptionist is a gatekeeper for want of a better expression. She needs to be able to assess a patient's needs and alert me if there's something that doesn't quite check out. She was quick to react, and I really shudder to think, I mean, she probably saved his life.